Howdy everyone, back at Renegade Blosses with something a little special, a little bit expensive, but all around an amazing little blaster. And by little, this is the Honey Badger short and long version made by Gel Blaster Frontier. If you don't know who they are, they are new on the market with some new and excellent items. And one of them is their gearbox. So we did a review on their gear, well, a box opening on their gearbox. We're going to do a full review after. But these gearbox are made of CNC. They are split, so it's a lot easier to shim and use uh, all tanks of springs. And they also have a programmable MOSFET that we'll show later in the video that has quite a few cool features. One of them I absolutely love. But again, I will say that more into the video. That's what's in each of these gearboxes. But let's go through the quick overview of each blaster. So, first of all, the main differences between the long and short is that the long one has a long handguard and the short one has a short handguard. Bit of arm doom, that's the end of the review. Joking. Anyway, so it wouldn't be a honey badger if it didn't have the quick release stock here. So it's a quick release that has three points of, uh, what's it called, retention? Yeah, adjustment. Adjustment, there we go. Mm -hmm. Losing my words today. Uh, but yeah, the battery just sits nicely in there and is a nice solid stock as well. It's got those little metal rails so you can put a lot of pressure on the back without any problems. And it is a nylon cap so your shoulder won't get too sore. It has a metal charging handle uh, and a full nylon receiver. These things have to be light because these were designed for close quarter, indoor type of fields. Or if you really want to rush the enemy in outdoor, wouldn't recommend it. Too many snipers, LMGs. Pretty much everything that wants to get you will get you. Uh, next, we have a nice open flared magwell if you want those quicker reloads. And one thing that I do enjoy that more blasters that are coming with, uh, these Amoeba MOE grips. These things are absolutely solid. I do enjoy them. Darren does love them. He was in before the craze, and now the craze has caught up with him. Uh, we also have this really weird trigger guard there. I don't know how I feel about that. Just looks a bit funky. Next, we'll go to the other side. So you got your standard uh, select fire there. Uh, the bolt catch and you know all the um, standard stuff no engravings or anything so I'm a little bit disappointed but you know there's always those little extras that I do enjoy next we go to the handguard it is an M-Lock style handguard but this is a fully metal handguard with a metal suppressor metal inner and outer barrel and the cool thing about these models as well they also have a hop up so you can, these are fully adjustable hop ups top and bottom so it just sits right inside the flash hider so there's no gimmicks or anything popping out you don't have to worry about anything uh, you can remove anything from the front it just takes a bit of time and now we're going to go to the actual firing demo but before we go into that one thing that i love 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 about this gearbox and that i'm putting in a couple of mines is the mag prime i'll show you how the mag prime works usually it happens off a charging handle of a button this one you just insert see insert no buttons push no nothing and now your blast is ready to fire let's start with single fire it's a bit jammed up there but as you can see it's a nice snappy single fire Let's go out of full auto. So yeah, we just cleared some of the old gels out of there. But yeah, one cool thing about this gearbox as well, it is programmable. So you head on single fire, just tap the single fire again a couple times. So yeah, no. to program it, you just hold down the trigger. You'll hear a beep. So each beep determines what the fire is. So we're going to switch it to binary. So here, double beep. Now put it back to full auto. Put it back to single fire and fire that trigger. So if you don't know what binary is, Binary is when you when you pull the trigger, it will fire one, and when you release the trigger, it will fire one. So pull the trigger once, release, boom. You've got binary, and I do love that fire mode because it is amazing. It looks cool. I saw it once in a YouTube video for actual, you know what, and they were absolutely amazing. But again, you can program to something else. Uh, it goes all the way up to five bursts, so let's program to five bursts. So put it back single fire, hold down the trigger on single fire. Again, you will listen for that beep. Okay, so that's single, tap it once. Binary, tap it again. Three bursts, tap it again. Four bursts, and tap it again. So now it's on five bursts to lock in that um, uh, select fire, switch it to full auto, switch it back to single fire, and now you got five bursts. So it shoots five at a time. These gearboxes are absolutely clean, and I'm glad they finally brought out a blaster that has everything you want. Uh, you can do a quick spring change, but we're not going to demonstrate that. It does take a little bit to, you know, uh, take it. By, by quick spring change, we just kind of pop a couple of pins, take the top of the gearbox out, but that's for another video. But yeah, Gel, Ball Fr Gel Blaster Frontier really pushing forward with these gearboxes and these beautiful, beautiful Honey Badger designs. I can't wait to see what they do next. Uh, but yeah, say in the comments what you, which one you prefer. Do you prefer the short with suppressor? Do you prefer the long with suppressor hidden? Which one would you want? Tell us what you want in the comments below or chuck it on Facebook or give us a message.